fertility preservation in cancer patients. So in India, 3 to 5 percentage of the peoples are affected by cancer and they are in the 20 to 40 years of age in the reproductive age group. So in these patients, the oncologists prefer to treat them with chemotherapy to kill those cancer cells. Those cancer cells are very dangerous to the gonads. So platinum containing chemotherapic agents which will be toxic to the gonads and those patients after treatment with the cancer therapy, they will be landing in fertility potential uh, loss. So it is essential to all those cancer patients before undergoing chemotherapy to keep the option of fertility preservation. So today we are having advanced treatment of fertility preservation like preserving of the oocytes in case if the patient is unmarried and have attained puberty and if she is having good number of days before chemotherapy. If at all if she is not having good number of days, there is a uh, other type of fertility preservation like taking the immature eggs from the ovary can also be done. Then the second thing is the embryo cryo preservation. If the patient is having the known partner, then better to do ICSI and do cryo preservation of the embryos. And there are options for pre-pubertal girls who are suffering from cancer with the preservation of ovarian tissue can also be done. And there are good protocols in this fertility preservation like random protocols. Anytime we can start the cycle to make the ovaries in the follicles to grow and to uh, preserve those eggs. And there are drugs, good drugs like aromatase inhibitors, which will not increase the progression of cancer. If so, they are affected by reproductive growth cancers. So it is essential to give the option of fertility preservation to those patients who are affected by cancer. Thank you.